This is code.org, and this looks complicated, but I'm sure we can do it. Let's see. Do this. Run the program. See how it works. Add code to the if else. All right, let's hit run. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the star. It's black to start, which makes sense. It's declared to be or it's set to be somewhere uh, in design mode. I'm going to click red. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Oh, orange. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that temp goes pink. Four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, does it change? I think that's the end. Okay. Oh, but it's supposed to change. Interesting. All right. So test your code and make sure it works as expected. All right. So it doesn't yet. Uh, this little yellow thing, event is defined. Yeah, we have event, but we don't use it. You can just delete it and it will go away. All right. So if clicks is less than 10, what color is it? It's orange. So that works. Now, what about yellow? Hmm. Well, we have pink, but pink should be the default if it's over 30. Let's hit plus. And how many are we going to need? We need, we got orange. We need yellow, green, blue, violet. Okay. So let's grab the set property here for pink and drop it down. And then what do we need for orange? And we can use yellow as our hint, right? Or orange as our hint. So to make it yellow, to make it orange, we have clicks less than 10. Okay. For yellow, what should it be? Clicks less than... 15. And I want to be clear why this works because we are checking above it the other variable, right? So, or the other number. So, right before we get here, ifs run in order. If clicks is less than five, our color, our star is now red and it's done. No other statement in the if runs. Once a part of the if is true, no other part of your if statement will run. Now, let's say our number is uh, 17. So we get here and clicks is equal to 17. I've clicked on that thing 17 times. And it says, nope, 17 is, is not less than five. Zoop. And it goes to this other chunk, this else if. So if this is true and the computer says false, that's not true. Zoop. Okay, else if. Is clicks less than 10? Well, I just said, no, I clicked on it 17 times. So it goes, oh, okay, no, it's not less than 10. So false. Zoop. And it would come down here. And it's going to keep going, say I actually had done 13 on this, then this would be true. If I had only done 13, this would be true, right? 13 is less than 15. It would run the code inside, which we're about to add to make it orange, and then it's done. It would skip the rest of the if. Once one thing is true, it does that one thing, and it's over. So if I put at the very top of this, if clicks is less than 30, or something like that, well, it would never get to any other part. Or maybe at the top I said, if clicks is less than 29 up here, well, that would be true most of the time, so it would never be any of these other colors, because it would do that if, say true, and go to the bottom and skip the rest of that. All right, but that's not what we're doing. We're doing it in order from smallest, from the least amount to the biggest. All right, so if clicks is less than 15, it should be yellow, because then we know, well, it must be greater than... Uh, it must be 10 or greater, and it's less than 15. So that's where the yellow range is. Okay, so let's set star icon color to yellow. All right, now that's yellow. What if clicks is greater? So it's in between 15 and 19. Well, that's where we, what we would want under this. I'm going to plus again. I'm going to drag down what they already gave us and say, okay, if clicks is less than 20 because that means it would be 19 right so if clicks is less than 20 so what would we know well if if it got all the way down here that means clicks is not less than 15 it says nope false zoop boom and we'll say it's 17 it says okay is clicks less than 20 yeah yeah that's true it's 17 cool then it would run this code and that code is going to be set property star icon color and what color do we got we got green and now it's going to do it again so now what if it was greater than 20 well let's hit plus for blue so if clicks is less than 25 right so if we hit this statement, it says clicks is less than 20, and we'll say I clicked this 23 times. It will say clicks is less than 20. It will say false. That's not true. Zoop, and it goes to the next line. 23 clicks. 23, yep, 
is less than 25. That is true. So this is true. It would set it to green, we're about to say, and then it's done. It doesn't run the other parts of the if statement. So star icon color green, blue, just kidding. And now finally violet. So I'm going to hit plus one more time, drag down pink and do clicks less than 30. Set property. I need these in quotes. Okay. So, and then the else, else is what happens by default. So if none of this stuff is true, say my clicks, I've clicked it 119 times. Well, obviously 119 isn't less than 15. It's not less false. It's not less than 20 false. And so at the end, it gets to this else statement. And that means, okay. If all this other stuff was not true, this must happen. And so if all that other stuff isn't true, the star will be pink. All right. These are tricky. Let's go ahead and test ours out. So it is five. It's four. Now let me hit it one more time. Orange. One more time. Yellow. 14 right now at 15. Green. Okay. 19 now at 20. Blue. Let's see if it keeps going. Violet and pink. Ooh, violet and pink are kind of close. Awesome. All right. That one was a bit tricky. You really want to get these if statements, if else statements down. I have a blank line, which bugs me, but fine. Uh, because they're important, and we're going to continue to build on them. So, cool. Onward.